Mm. Mando. Well, What's up, dude? Okay. Hey, I got you the one with the eggs. Oh, the eggs are in there, girl. Hey, yummy. You want to tell everyone where we're going? We're going to Orlando. To do what? To Orlando. Yeah. Guys, what is up? Welcome back to our channel, you guys. We are on our Delta Airline headed to Orlando right now as we speak. Ava and I are travel buddies. We've got Mom and Landon behind us as travel buddies. And then Ashton in turn in the third row as travel buddies. We've got a four-hour flight ahead of us. We've just had some Cafe Rio breakfast. We are ready to go. We are amped. Guys, we're going to touch down in Orlando. And it starts right as soon as the plane hits the ground. We are going full throttle, headed to our hotel, and then we're headed into the park for a welcome reception. It's going to be amazing. Are you ready? So am I. Godzilla-related turbulence at this time, so I'm gonna go ahead and ask you to put your seatbelts back on. The pilot was warning us about it the entire time we were on the plane. He's like, the last 45 minutes, it's pretty stormy, it's gonna be crazy. So, yeah, it was only 15, but I hate that kind of stuff. Can I be honest? I love it because when somebody's sitting next to me, like either Ava or Lindsay, they grab my hand. <laughs> Or just a random stranger does. We're gonna give you a quick little room tour here. We're only staying here one night before we jump on the cruise ship tomorrow. So actually when we come back off the cruise, we're checking back into the Animal Kingdom Resort here in beautiful Disney World. And we're getting a completely different room, but we wanted to show you the accommodations that Disney has set up for us this evening. And guys, they're spectacular. Welcome to our room. <laughs> <laughs> so quickly over here, we got adjoining rooms. These are mirror image rooms. So we're gonna show you this room here and I'll be honest, it looks the exact same over there as well. Doesn't it, Ava? What the heck, I'm seeing two of you. Oh, it's just you. Okay, so we've got, hello mom, hello No, dad. can I just show the coolest part of this room? Yes. The balcony that looks out to- Babe, hey, don't spoil, we'll get there in a minute. Okay, All right, yes. so we've got a bathroom over here. Beautiful little bathroom. We've got ourselves two queen size beds. Hello, Miss Ava. Okay. Turn over here, watch a little bit of March Madness. Now, as Lindsay teased a little bit earlier, guys, the best part about this entire resort is this beautiful balcony. Now, I'm gonna have to give you a different view of this when we get back. But guys, there are animals from Africa all over this entire property. We saw giraffes out there earlier. I see something. Oh, an ostrich. There it is. So, like I said, we're gonna be hanging out here in this magical resort. We're probably gonna have to go see some more of these animals, I think, either tonight. Ah, we'll probably do it when we get back, actually, because we are so excited to be here. We've never stayed on a Disney resort before, with like an actual Disney hotel. First time ever, very excited to be here. Tonight, the plan is to head over to a Disney creators event in Magic Kingdom. So we're gonna leave here in the next few minutes and the party begins. 
There's a castle! Look! Get up here! Oh, look at that thing! Ava, is there a better way to start out this trip than a visit to the Magic Kingdom to stare at the castle? Yeah! Happy 50 years, Disney! Woo woo! Woo woo! Dude, 50 years, can you believe that? Do you feel the magic? I freaking feel the magic. Guys, we just finished up the most magical, magical show, magical fireworks show, enchantment, I believe is what it's called. It was unbelievable. Yeah. Be honest, when Tinkerbell came flying out of the sky from the castle, tell me that does not really make your heart just boom drop. Yeah. Boom, yeah. Boom, yeah. All right, so we're headed now to a little social gathering with the rest of the Disney creator crew here to meet some new friends. All right, you guys, we are over here at our last and final event here with Disney. Give me some snacks, hang out here for a bit. The reason you're seeing most of me on the video and not so much the Lindsay's, because Lindsay's running our Instagram right now. So head on over right now to Our Life in Holland to see some amazing stories of this event live as they're happening, yeah? Yeah. Because <laughs> we had our own little section here of the circus open right now. We're going on Barnstorm, baby, here we go! Hey, are you ready? I don't think so. I don't really know though. Hold my hand. Just you and me, baby. <laughs> Lindsay, is this just the Bingham coaster now? Just the Bingham's on this one. Here we go. One more time. Here in the front. Second favorite. Guys, the fun is not over yet. We are now on the Dumbo ride, yes. which is one of our favorite rides. We're gonna go up, we're gonna go down, we're gonna go all around and around, aren't we there, dear? And Mama? we can control it. Guys, again, check out Lindsay's Instagram. She's posting, except for her phone just died. She is posting on Instagram. Go check her out right now. We're meeting some awesome people out here. Disney is amazing. Their PR group is incredible. Making this an awesome experience. Oh, here we go, baby. Wow. Day one success. Guys, we literally jumped off an airplane, came straight to the hotel, full hung throttle. out for a minute, met the Disney creator team, and then we just went full throttle. We're back now at the hotel. We are going to bed. It is past midnight. We're taking our luggage at 7 a.m. and then we are driving to Port Canaveral to board the beautiful Disney Magic cruise ship. We are so excited for tomorrow. You guys have to come back to see us board the Disney Dream tomorrow morning. Our yes. first cruise, our first Disney cruise. All right, guys, we're going to bed. See you tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to our channel, you guys. I just opened up the curtains over here at the beautiful Disney Animal Kingdom Resort and right out our window are some giraffes. So I just got back to the gym. We took some shifts. Lindsay's now at the gym. So this morning we are boarding the beautiful Disney Dream. In T minus 30 minutes, we are headed to the bus drive, I think it's about an hour to Port Canaveral to get on our very, very first Disney cruise. Now kids, I just woke the kids up, so I'm not gonna show them because they're still like. We can hear them though, all right? So guys, who's excited to jump on, for most of you, your very first cruise ship? Me! All right, I got some breakfast. Let's eat some breakfast. Let's get dressed. Let's get on the bus. Let's go party. Party time, party time. 
Mama, good morning, wife. I'm on a boat. Pina, we're getting on the mini bus. You ready for this? Woo woo. If it looks like we're dressed to go on cruises, you did well. We're going on cruises. I was talking to my friend today, and she was like laughing that Jessica was in this outfit. She's Ooh. like, we're not even going to the beach today. Who <laughs> said that? Is that Sandy? Oh, man. And I was like, yeah, but we're feeling the beach vibes, okay? Feeling. Little does she know I actually have multiple outfits. <laughs> Don't worry, this is not the end of this outfit. All right, y'all, we have arrived. We are here. The beautiful Disney dream is just behind us. But first, we gotta do a COVID test. So we are heading into the COVID tents right now. D is in Dumbo, we're told. And fingers. yeah, guys, fingers crossed, because guess what? If it comes back as positive, I think well. our trip might be over. Our trip might be over. <laughs> <laughs> and every once in a while. People, Thank you. People get a positive test and uh, have no symptoms. So yeah. well, that's knock, not going to be us today. Knock on wood, everybody. But here we go. Turn, honestly, we've kind of been dreading this because it's the one where they go and they like touch your brain. No, they said it's not as bad as it used to be. Oh, good. That's good. Maybe they're just trying to make us feel better. I don't know. Turbo, you ready for them to touch your brain? Right. All right. Tell me when I hit the sweet spot. <laughs> Turk, get over here. We need to do a quick update. Let's be honest. That was a self-administered COVID test. That was so easy. Not nearly as bad as we were expecting. I feel bad. My dad stuck ashes up so high. <laughs> I did. I did. No, no, I guess he's been talking back recently. I thought, oh, I'll get him back a little bit. <laughs> so now we await the results. <laughs> Moments later. All right, guys, COVID tests are in for part of our group, not in for all of us just yet. We are waiting patiently to find out whether we pass the test or not. Ash, what do you think? Verdict? Pass. All right, guys, so the results are in. We've tested negative for what they call COVID 19. However, unfortunately, we have tested positive for being crazy. <laughs> positive? Positive. Dad and there joke. I turn. Dad, Dad joke. joke. The turn actually tested positive for having really, really long hair. Ashton tested positive for being slightly good looking. Very good looking. Ava tested positive for being too stinking oh, cute. Stinky. And Landon tested positive for being pretty courageous. Dad tested positive for having good style. Agreed? <laughs> You guys, welcome aboard the most beautiful Disney cruise ship, the Disney Dream, everybody. As we walked in, we had Mickey, we had Minnie, we had the whole crew. Guys, they announced our name over the intercom as we came in and said, welcome Bingham family on board. So we are headed now into our staterooms. We have two separate staterooms, which I believe they are balcony suites. So let's go check these out. Oh, oh my God. Holy. I already can see the view. Oh. Oh. Are you kidding me? Ava, open the balcony. All right, you guys, so we've got ourselves the queen. Now over here is a mirror image room. We've got ourselves the queen bed, that flips in. In fact, we are enjoying some treats delivered by Disney themselves, this is amazing. Honestly, Lindsay and I, this Love is our you. vice, guys. Cheese plates, seriously, our vice. We could so live much. off of this. We're in fact, we're on a cruise ship with a buffet and this is what we're choosing to eat at the moment. <laughs> so, Landon and mom and Ava are sitting on a couch, which actually then flips into the bed that you can see now. And then believe it or not, this above comes out of the ceiling. 
as a bunk bed, which the kids are excited about. Over here, we got a little workstation, okay, where some magic is gonna happen on the makeup vlogs. Station. Okay, makeup station. Then here we got the most spectacular balcony, which will seem to be the most spectacular view. Even this view is pretty sick, actually, you know, itself. So there's a shot from outside in. All right, guys, first impression of the Disney Dream is, it's a dream. Ava May, guys, this thing has got what's called the Aqua Duck Water Slide. This thing goes across almost the entire top deck of the ship in a tube that sees out to the ocean. This is unbelievable. Are you ready to go on it? Uh-uh, I'll go on it. You don't want to, it doesn't look scary at all, though. No? Come on. No? So guys, we have yet to actually explore the entirety of this beautiful vessel, but it is unbelievable. You just look at that special someone and think, man. Do you ever look at someone and wonder what is going on inside their head? You wanna go in there? Yeah. yeah? Okay, let's go. somewhere and I'm kind of guessing I know where they're at. If you're a betting man, maybe my bet is playing basketball. That's <laughs> the school in the local. officially underway, aren't we, Mr. Lando? Yeah. Here we go, everybody. Woo, Disney Dream Cruise 2022! Landon has been waiting this entire time for the boat to get going because he knows it makes a big blasting sound, so he's been waiting for that blasting sound. It actually hasn't happened yet, so maybe we're not officially at sea, but we are moving. We are undocked. We have unanchored the boat. I don't even know if you're using the right nautical terms here, but we're on our way. check in here and just tell you that Lindy really is actually on the cruise even though you've seen nothing but me and the kids. Are she's you been with Ava. Yet? I keep saying that because we're part of Disney's creator event. She's running the Instagram. I'm running the YouTube videos. Killing two birds with one stone. But she is here and she's beautiful as ever. You guys, we're taking off. We're so excited. I say that about everything. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. They just had the, uh, the air horns come over, the big fog horn. And Turin just asked, is there going to be a point where we can't see land anymore? I said, oh yes. But these fog horns were playing Disney sound rather than just regular toot toot sound. Because cool. everything Disney is just happy and magical. <laughs> Alright, 
right, guys, we are up here on the aqueduct water slide, guys. This thing looks unbelievable. It's right there. Anyway, the best POV shot you could possibly imagine right now on our new GoPro Hero 10. Are you ready for this? Yes. Let's go work. So we've made it over here to Luigi's after going on the, the, the famous aqueduct water slide. That is going to be more epic when we actually go do it when we're out over the ocean. Would you agree? It's going to be sick. So we're here at Luigi's. Going to pick up some grub right now. Lana, what are you feeling like? Sandwiches, pizzas. Well, so we got Luigi's, Tomater's Grill, and Fillmore's. Ooh, I feel like I'm feeling Fillmore's over here. Guys, before we head back to the pool, because we are still pool ready over here, <laughs> we are gonna go to the beautiful Disney Enchantment Welcoming Show. We're actually running a little bit late, but we're coming down right now into the Walt Disney Theater here on the beautiful Disney Dream. Guys, we love the show. This is like full scale, we're talking like Broadway production Disney shows here. Kids are gonna love it. <laughs> it was fabulous. If you're into disaster. <laughs> Playing a little shuffleboard out here on deck number four. Look at the sunset right now. Look at that sunset. Are you kidding me? Okay, get your kid on the board. 27, I'm with that boy. Later, later, later. 27, yeah, there you go. So guys, we are at dinner now. In one of three dining rooms we'll be at this entire trip. This one, I keep looking in the reflection over here and I see this beautiful girl in the mirror. And I was like, man, she is really cute. And then I realized, oh, that's my wife. She hates when I say that. I, I mean, love when you say yeah, that. Yeah. So, anyway, so we are at the Enchanted Garden, everybody. Tonight on the menu, we're not sure, but we know yeah. that we can eat as much as we want of it. Isn't that right, Jerbo? Yes. You guys, turns out we're at cruise food, but tell us, uh, so far, so good. Agreed? So far, so yeah. Good. So tonight is Enchanted Garden. Tomorrow night, I don't know. We but, I don't know. Guys, we've been told that Disney cruise food is some of the best. We're about to partake. All right, guys, down low on the dinner. Delicious. Amazing. Lindsay had. Oh, I don't remember the food being this good. Lindsay had the sea bass. I had the scallops. Guys, they were unbelievable. It was truly delicious. The appetizers, the soup, the entree, the dessert, all of it. No complaints here. Bellies are full. Plus, the kids could choose a Mickey ice cream bar for dessert. It's always like a favorite at Disneyland. Guys, desserts, you can always eat more desserts than you can regular food. It's kind of crazy. And then you end up sick. But here's the deal, we're back to the pool. Well, some of us are back to the pool. Yeah, we're heading back to the pool. Some kids want to hit the kids club. Yes. Others want to hit the aqueduct. I want to hit the hot tub. So we're splitting it up. Here we go.
just got back to the room and look how cute. They made us a little elephant out of towels. So you know how elephants have huge ears? Mm -hmm. they have huge ears. This is amazing. How do they do this? I don't know. There's like little white things down there. I think they just really twist it really tight and then like that. And then they bend it and then they pop. They put something down there. Yeah. There's more under here. <gasps> Look how fun that is! Oh my gosh, I love it. I literally get it to myself. And Mickey and Jasmine are all tucked in. All right, you guys, we are shutting down today's video. What an incredible day one here on the Disney Dream. It was a dream. It was a Disney dream. You know what's funny <laughs> is this kids club thing that we dropped. So they've got the vibe, then they've got like the Disney Ocean Club for the kids. It's amazing. First of all, amazing how safe it is, right? You check your kids in. There's a totally yeah. like security protocol with a band. and They wear a band, watch band that they track them with. So uh, they know exactly where in the kids club they are. Yeah. And then like a keyword, like a special pass oh. and very very cool and we just dropped the kids off there and it's a such a like a secure built-in babysitter we dropped it off there for a little bit Lindsay got it and i got a chance to hang out i mean the kids are absolutely ha having a total blast yeah we told them like if you don't love it then there's tons of other things we can do we kind of split the night up part of it we were all together and part of it we kind of split up and one of the really cool things about the kids club is that they have it separated into ages so they have a 6 to 12 year old age group then they have 11 to 14 and then 14 to 17 so they're kind of split off into kids of their own age with completely different activities that make sense for how old they are and every single one of them loved it loved it loved it in fact guys once again it's midnight <laughs> which is fine it's vacation right we would need to soak up these uh we're these opportunities the of it. make these memories so guys it has been amazing we are nasa tomorrow we've got some very cool stuff in store for you guys so be sure to come back Hi guys you should be in bed <laughs> be sure to come back for that and uh oh and if you oh. aren't following me on instagram make sure you go check it out i post on instagram before these videos come out but i'm going to create a disney highlight bubble so that you guys can check See these it out all. yeah and if you're ever thinking about going on a disney trip and you're trying to remember something that i shared you'll always be able to go back and refer to that guys good night everybody see you tomorrow just docked this morning. So before we actually got off this morning, we were able to take an exclusive look and a sneak peek at Disney's Plus latest original sneaker rally. Because we saw the very first showing of it and we loved it. We were dancing, we were having a good time. We, we, were, we cried. <laughs> it's true. It's truly unbelievable. It was so good. It really was. It was right. I mean, <laughs> Disney does Disney right, right? But this movie just, I don't know, it had all the feel goods in it. It was yeah. amazing. Ava was giggling at the love stuff. It was so good. So, it's a TBD on the release date. However, we highly recommend that when it comes out, you check it out on Disney+. Plus. But for now, we are headed to the Bahamas. We are headed on a tour to Pearl Island. And the kids have never been to the Caribbean before. So guys, we actually have a little toy in store here that, uh, well, we bought on Amazon. Guys, so this is an underwater scooter that we bought on Amazon, and we're kind of stoked to take it out. Look at our soon-to-be underwater scooter toy that turns so graciously carried on his shoulders.
Guys, we have made it to beautiful, breathtaking Pearl Island. Guys, this place is gorgeous. Wait, these are pearls on the ground. Okay, no joke, I did see a pearl. However, I think it was planted there. So guys, we are here for the next probably four or five hours. They said that we can choose a beach, explore wherever we want to go, do whatever we want to do. In fact, we got the drone. We're gonna put the drone up in the air here. So we've got the water scooter. We're gonna put that in the water. We got our, oh, I forgot the snorkels. However, I think they're gonna bring us snorkels. Savannah, are you ready, bud? Yeah. Guys, on the way over here, these, these guys, these bohemians were dancing. I asked them to dance, but they didn't get a little camera shy, if you will. But we had a good old time. So let's see what this place has to offer. It's all about the takeoff, gentlemen. Disney, woo! All right, so I had to do a backflip, which as you guys know is traditional for me. But I had to wait till everyone got off the boat before I could justify asking permission to do it. Woo! That crew wanted to go good. We are underwater right now with this brand new freaking underwater scooter. This thing is unbelievable. Insane. I was a little bit skeptical at first, I'll be honest. This thing is awesome. No, I honestly just bought it on Amazon. I always wanted to get one. I thought, you know what? This vacation is more epic than ever. Why not just get one for this vacation? So luckily it arrived on time and this thing's awesome. It is. What is this brand? Is this? Sublu. 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 Sublu is what it's called. Anyway, absolutely unreal. It goes like four miles an hour. We're just cruising, doing a little dolphin fans. I feel like a dolphin. You feel like a dolphin? <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys. Glenn and I are just taking a little chill. I think you discovered that this thing is amazing. I was very scared. My, <laughs> like the, I thought it was like a stand stand up scooter, and the dad was gonna make me go by short. Well, there's an idea, stand up scooter on water. However, this thing has been quite the blast here at Pearl Island, has it I, not? I used the entire battery, not from the start, but <laughs> I used the entire battery. The idea here is we did a little snorkeling in Cabo, and it wasn't the most ideal scenario. It was a little bit tough. They felt a little insecure in the water, and uh, a little bit harder maybe for landing to keep up. So I thought this thing right here well, help is a great little alternative to just, first of all, have fun in the water. And second of all, be able to be a little bit more mobile and cruise around, huh, dude? Yeah. <laughs> if you guys, I think you should get one of these. They're very cool. There you go. There's an endorsement right there. This thing on. Yeah. Little Sandy Alamode in the house. What up? Hi. 
All right, guys, we've just made a quick little stop over here to get some Bahamian food. Pretty and much. Excited looks to try delicious. this. Delicious. We got barbecue chicken, we got some fried fish, we got rice, we got cold slaw. I have to make fun of Lindsay though, real quick because she went through the little kids' line and they got chicken fingers and fries. <laughs> I thought accident. that's all they had. The kids had all gone through the line and she kind of looked at me funny. She's like, You want it too? And I was like, Well, yeah, I want to eat lunch. <laughs> and then, next thing I know, little did she know? She didn't yeah. know there was an entire other line. I didn't. For actual so I got two lunches. Adults. It's good. Yeah. Pearl Island. This thing is pretty cool. It's got a beautiful lighthouse, which you can see right above us here. And I put the drone, and guys, this thing is small enough that I had the drone fly almost around the entire island, which is pretty cool. Yeah, I don't think anybody lives on this island. I think it is strictly for tourists. Oh, it's tourist tourism. Island. Yeah, yeah. As, you, as you saw in the air, it's definitely not. I mean, I think there's actually some nice little, like, potential beach homes they're really? building over there, but anyway. Beautiful, sure. crystal clear waters, gorgeous beaches. We are leaving beautiful Pearl Island, heading back to the ship. It was the perfect day, the perfect weather. The kids loved their first experience in the Caribbean. As we cruised around a little underwater the scooter, they turn loved I threw that. The, turn I threw the football around. Lizzie chatted, met some new friends. Because yeah. guys, we don't know a lot of these creators that are on this trip, and so it's been really fun to connect and get to know a lot of them. We've met Sandy Alamode. We've met the Knight family. I've met a ton of people here. They've all been so fun. So fun to chat with what they're doing. And it's, it's fun to see your people's stories, their backgrounds, what the message is behind the content. Anyway, so we're headed back to the ship now before we, I guess, head to dinner the next little bit. But more Bahamas tomorrow more Bahamas because tomorrow. we are going to Castaway Key. But what's funny is the kids love the ship so much that even though we're leaving Paradise, they're so excited to get back on the ship and back to the pool, That's back like to the water the slides. Back to the kids club, back to the food. So more fun to come tonight. Uh, we are back aboard the beautiful Disney dream. Already enjoying, well, ice cream, burgers, drinks. Here she Cheers. is right here. Cheers, everybody. Ice cream, uh. Oh. So, some of the many amenities the Disney Dream has to offer is mini golf. So, we're up here playing a little Goofy's Golf with the crew. Looks there to be maybe nine holes, a little putt putt. You guys, we are down here getting ready to go to dinner. And one of, the, I think, the coolest parts about the Disney Cruises are all the Disney princesses and Disney characters you can see throughout the entire ship. Everywhere you go, there's somebody new and special. Justin has a secret that he needs to tell you. Is this like a blue light I'm under? I don't know what it is. What's the secret? He's in love with Jasmine. Yeah, no, that's, that's, I don't know if I can do this right now. Because she's right behind the camera. <laughs> Her name's Starstruck. <laughs> I mean, really, if we're going to rank the Disney princesses, I would put Jasmine up there in top three. Mm -hmm. All right, so tonight's dinner is what we call the Royal Palace, everybody. Now, I think we're gonna feel pretty royal in this, yet one of three dining rooms they have on this beautiful ship. So we're excited to try restaurant number two. Do 
Can you think of anything better than sit here on a Disney cruise ship watching a Disney movie? No? We're sitting here at 11.30 at night watching Enchanted together. Turns up at the teenage club. Here's the crew. Just having a good old time, aren't we, Miss Ava? <laughs> Guys, what an incredible today we had in Nassau, Bahamas at Pearl Island. Tons of fun finishing the night off with a little bit of a Disney classic Enchanted. Hanging out just on the beach chairs, having a dance party. These two were Ava and Mom were getting down on the old dance There's floor. nothing better than being on the top of a cruise ship, dancing, ocean air in your face, or watching a movie on the top. Those are two of my favorites. You know, I was starting to feel the music there for a minute. Just for a minute, though. <laughs> <laughs> I think one of my favorite parts about this whole cruise. I love all of it. I think one of my favorite parts is sharing it with the kids. This is a first time for them and to see the magic in their eyes of something they've never done before. They love it. So fun. They love, they love the kids club. They just really love every aspect of they it. They really, really do. Kind of... We kind of figured out on this trip that we're probably cruisers. We kind of assumed we would be, yeah. to be honest. Just with haven't that. had a chance to go yet. They are definitely taking advantage of the soft serve. That is for sure. <laughs> Lots of soft serve over here. Tomorrow we've got Castaway K, which is Disney's private island which we heard is pretty spectacular so yes. we're excited to go visit that tomorrow so be sure to come back many more exciting videos to come and uh see you guys tomorrow good night everybody Alright guys, good morning. Welcome back to our channel. Welcome back to a very windy day here on the Disney Dream. We are actually attempting to pull in to Disney's private island, Castaway Key. The captain just came over at the intercom system letting us know that they've attempted it twice now. In fact, the kids were up this morning. So shaky, that's... shaky, really shaky. Well, well, <laughs> sure. <laughs> It's a little bit shaky. First time cruisers, it maybe felt a little bit shaky, right, Ashy? So you can see we got white caps out here. However, they've come over the intercom saying they've tried it twice now to dock the boat. I mean, this thing, as big as it is, is probably a sail in the wind like this. And so they have informed us they are going to just circle the island for the next little bit, hopefully waiting for a window around 11 a.m. to where the tide and the winds are favorable to actually dock the boat. It's a little bit to be determined if that's actually gonna happen or not. Regardless, this ship has more to do than we could possibly need anyway and so if we have to hang out here all day we're gonna have a blast either way however i want to give you a glimpse of this beautiful island hoping again fingers crossed we can go and experience it because apparently there's quite a bit of fun to have out there you can tell they've got beautiful beaches beautiful water but for now we are just gonna hang out on the boat for the next little bit we actually haven't had breakfast yet at one of the restaurants we've had it at kind of the buffet so we're gonna go experience the breakfast in the restaurant and wait this wind storm out if you will for the next few hours and real quick note on the outfit here guys i feel like i kind of misused this the first day that was kind of the impression Sure, would you agree? Like some people are saying, hey, great outfit, but today we're not actually getting on the water. Like, you're not even going to the beach. I'm like, ah, oh, man, maybe I used it too early. A little premature wearing of my favorite Chubby's outfit here. So, we're going to re-wear it today. Why? Because we're on vacation. We can, huh? Oh. So, some white caps really all throughout. Beautiful island right over there. The camera doesn't really do it justice from here. There it is. 
Okay, you guys, so we're headed up right now to an exclusive photo opportunity with Disney Pixar's characters, Jesse and Woody. So we just learned that early 2023, coming to Disney cruise ships, they are going to start having a Pixar day at sea, something they've never done before. They're going to have meet and greets with Jesse and Woody and all different Pixar characters. They're gonna have different activities throughout the ship, all Pixar themed on their at sea days. So that's gonna be super cool, coming early 2023. Hey, who's got my hat? Look, I'm Woody. Howdy, howdy, howdy. Ah uh ha, -huh, ah uh ha, -huh. give me that. Guys, we just finished a delicious breakfast here. We took a look outside into these swells. Tara was asking, Dad, if we had our boat out here, our ski boat, would we be able to survive this? And the answer is unequivocally no. We would be sinking for sure. Guys, these swells are actually- Really big. Pretty big. I mean, obviously not big enough to cause any you know harm or worry for the ship. But however, the sea is definitely not calm today. So I'm not entirely sure if we're actually gonna make it out to Castaway Key anyway today. Well done! Fingers crossed, but guys, take a look at these swells. I don't know if the camera will even do it justice. The sea was angry that day, my friends. Like guys, it would appear that we are looking to try to dock this thing one more time. That is what it appears to be right now. And I'll be honest, by the looks of it, it looks windy. It looks like it's not gonna happen. We're talking big waves crashing up against the rocks. I don't know, we'll see. TBD. We're so close. I don't think it's gonna happen though. Boy, they're getting mighty close to those rocks over there. All right guys, so quick little update here for you. We are not gonna be able to make it into Castaway Key today. Unfortunately, the tide and the wind is not in our favor. The boat tried three times, unsuccessful all three times, despite how amazing I'm sure this captain is, it is not gonna happen. So we have ourselves an at sea day today. However, the Disney Dream has a lot to offer. Tons of different kids clubs. Turin actually recently has been hanging out at this lounge for kind of your 14 to 17 year old children, if you will. Your 14 to 17 year olds called The Vibe. Now guys, this place is pretty stinking cool. It's exclusively just for kids 14 to 17. Turin's been there every single night from eight o'clock to midnight. Eight o'clock to midnight, just hanging out there. So while there's no kids in there, we get a chance to go up there and give you a quick little tour of this amazing tween lounge. deck area, outdoor ping pong. Now this is at the very bow of the ship, the very front of the ship, very calm. It's got some little private showers here. To be honest, this is actually, <laughs> this actually is cooler than the adult section of the boat. I'm 
I started recording, can't take it back. This is called Top of the Cruise Ship Hair right here. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, we have come over here to the Evolution Lounge to hang out with some of the other Disney creators. It's no little meet and greet. Ooh, we got the spotlight going on. Wow. I feel like we're in the club all of a sudden. <laughs> right, so we start recording too. <laughs> <laughs> so I just met another creator here who actually was tagged by one of you on Instagram. She shares her perspective of cerebral palsy on her Instagram. Her name is The Real Chelsea Bear, and I was just talking to her about how much I love that she's sharing her perspective on it since a lot of people don't even know what cerebral palsy is but we were also talking about how every person who has it is so different it manifests itself so differently in every single person and she talks a lot about that on her channel so everyone that you meet it will look a little bit different for so anyway super cool that we met someone with cerebral palsy also sharing their story all right you guys tonight we have a very special treat we've got really what I think to be like a Broadway production of Beauty and the Beast which Beauty is Beast. Kind of one of our favorite Disney shows. Would you agree? Yes. Yeah. In fact, if you have, I've got to make that a reel. Where is it? It's on YouTube. Our, the video of Ava. She's like two years old. She's dressed up as Belle for Halloween and she comes to the stairs and she puts her hands out like Belle in the movie without anybody telling her anything. It is the most precious thing you will ever see. We'll link that. We'll link that. So yes, we're headed there right two, now. Three, two. This is the cutest. Oh, hi, Ash. He just comes out of the curtains. <laughs> but yes, we love Beauty and the Beast. And we've heard that this is a particularly great production on the ship. I think honestly what I love most about these cruises is that the entertainment, first of all, is very kid friendly, but it's yes. also Disney, right? Which you can't go wrong with Disney. It's so true. Let's go! just got out of Beauty and the Beast. And Lana, what did you think, pal? I thought it was awesome. <laughs> it was absolutely amazing. We're talking like full production. I think the stage alone, I was wowed by that more than anything. I mean, it just, the, the props, the transitions, it was, and I'm not like super artistic, so I'm sad, I mean, I'm, I'm really kind of stretching here, but it really was really, really great. Yeah, in fact, when we came out, one of our friends here was telling us that she thinks it was better than the one in New York, which is saying something. We're talking cruise ship entertainment here, and it was spectacular. It was truly awesome. 10 out of 10 for me. The acting the singing, the props, the stage, everything. I loved it. Huge, huge fan over here. Okay, so now we're going to dinner at the place that I've been the most excited for. It's called Animator's Palette, and it has an interactive screen behind you. Supposedly the best of what we've been told, the three restaurants on the ship. So we're really excited. We're going to our last dinner here on the ship because we get off tomorrow morning and head back to the parks. And we go to Disney World and Hollywood Studios and Animal Kingdom, everybody. <laughs> But before we go to dinner, we are going to enjoy the beautiful sunset. Guys, sunsets on the ocean or something else? Something else. Yeah, 
Well, dude, come on up. Dude, come on up. Get a selfie. Let's go. Oh, this is awesome. Hold on. Let me get a pose for you. I call this one Turtle in the Wild. <laughs> Did you get it? I got it. All right, dude. dude. Like a normal selfie. I got to approve it. Let me see it. Oh, oh wow. Wait, wait. You have to show me. Wait, it was a video. I didn't know like oh. a picture. Dude, I don't know what that is. All right, here we go. I'll give you a smile. Okay, I got it. I got it. I got it. Did you get it? I got it. Oh, dude, awesome. <laughs> So what have you done that's been totally awesome? What did you eat yesterday? Oh dude, awesome. Went to the beach, totally righteous. All right, you guys, officially our favorite dinner restaurant tonight. We just had a good long chat with the turtle, what's his name? Rocky Man. From Finding Nemo. He's my kind of dude. He's hilarious. I don't even know how he was having full on conversations with us, but he was. And one of the beautiful things about cruise dinners is that you can try more than one entree. Tonight has been the best food. Every appetizer, ridiculously good. My personal favorite, the truffle pasta. But tonight, Justin's going all out with not one, not two, but three entrees. Tuna, bolognese, steak. Bon appetit. One thing that is also unique to the Disney Cruise Line is every night we get to visit a new restaurant, but our same servers are here. It's so fun. You get to know them. Ours are hilarious and awesome. Last night, one of them came to the table with the piece of my necklace that suddenly disappeared. I thought it was lost. I thought it was gone forever, and they found it as they were sweeping the floor and brought it to me the next night. They know all of our favorite drinks. They've become our friends. We love them. They're so fun. And every night, we show up in a new restaurant, and they're here waiting for us. All right, you guys, the cruise has come to an end. Well, sort of. We have one night left, and then we are disembarking tomorrow. Guys, I'm learning all the nautical terms, by the disembarking. way. Disembarking. Disembarking, okay? <laughs> we are disembarking tomorrow morning, bright and early. No time to stop at the resort. The Disney Creator event moves on quickly to Hollywood Studios. So tomorrow we're heading to Hollywood Studios for the rest of the entire day, which is, I think, from maybe like noon-ish to very late in the evening. So it's gonna be a party tomorrow. This cruise has been absolutely incredible. Despite the fact that we didn't get to go to Castaway Cay, it's been incredible. The ship has so much to do. The kids remained entertained the entire day with not a single, you know, on board or nothing. It was great. So super fun day. Gonna hit the hay. We're getting up early tomorrow, guys. Be sure to subscribe if you are new to our channel. I've actually met a couple of you on the ship, which is kind of fun to run into, you know, people who watch the channel. So if you're watching this, you know who you are. Great running into you. Be sure to subscribe again if you are new to the channel. Smash that like button and we'll see you guys in the morning. Bye. Good night. <laughs>
We've been here one time before, if you remember our videos with Jared and Britt. Had the best time. It's a beautiful day outside, the sun is shining, and we're in our matching Mickey shirt. Because Lindsay went all out this trip. We've got, I think, all three days. Wait, two days or three days? We're matching two of the days. Two days. But we all have Disney shirts for all three, of course. Correct. Today's a little bit shorter day in the park. We disembarked, like Lindsay said. We got here, it's about 11.30. I'm told the park closes at nine today. I'll have to verify that. But then we have dinner later at Disney Springs. So we're gonna spend the day here for the next, oh, four or five hours. And it's kind of our day to do whatever. It's a free open day. The Disney Creator events will happen a little bit later this evening in Disney Springs. But you guys, I'm so amazed how much fun they've been packing into every single day for us. This has been the trip of a lifetime. It's been truly unbelievable. All right, you guys, we're headed over to get a little bit of food in Star Wars Galaxy Edge at Docking Bay 7. We're told by customer service that it has some of the best food, and they also said some of the healthiest food in the entire park. So we've ordered online, heading over there to get a little bit of lunch in our bellies before we head out to go hit a handful of rides. Up first is... Rock and Roller Coaster. You guys, Rock and Roller Coaster is hands down our very, very favorite. No, no, no. No? Second favorite. What's our first? Tower of Terror first. Ah, see, I would not have guessed Tower of Terror was our first. However, we're headed over to get some food, then we're gonna hit Rockin', then we got Slinky Dog. We've kind of got this park figured out, would you say? Yeah, definitely. We've kind of got this park figured out. We kind of know where to navigate, what route to plan, so we optimize the time we have here. So we actually always have a DOS pass for landing, which is essentially just a disability pass that allows us to be able to reserve times a little bit more promptly than maybe is traditional. So we always tell Lando he's our MVP at Disney World. Thanks to him, we get to the front of every line. It is true, guys. I would say that Landon, hands down, if you guys want to do Disneyland, Disney World, anything Disney, Landon, Landon is your man. He is, hands down, the MVP when it comes to Disney magic. Yeah, Lando. Alright, you guys can always expect absolute honesty from our channel, and we're gonna be honest. Docking Bay 7 food was awesome. <laughs> I know I always say that, but it really was. So the poke wasn't my favorite, I'm gonna be honest about yeah. that. But the short rib, whatever it is you got. Stir fry. Stir fry short rib. Stir fry beef, I think. It was like truly oh, unbelievable. Good. Very good. It wasn't like typical like park food where you find it kind of feel gross yeah, afterwards. Yeah, it's a little Actually, healthier. Yeah, it felt clean and healthy, and anyway, I really liked it. So we're gonna be showing you guys lots of food while we're because here. as part of the Disney Creator events, they give us a couple special access passes to Mickey's oh, Runaway God. Railway and Star Wars: Rise of the Resistance, which we've done in Disneyland but never in Disney World. So we're gonna head over and do that real quick before we head over to do Rock and Roller Coaster. A covert resistance team led by my friend Finn has infiltrated a First Order Star Destroyer that is now headed to the system. Initiate reflex sequence on deck three for Picard. As you heard from Grey, I have been tasked with getting you to Picard. I'm working at anything, Black Leader, we're picking up an unusual signal. Are you spotting anything? Yeah, I see it. We'll check it out. Did you raise the shields. Right, you're approved on the third round, so transport can make a jump. So I just got reprimanded. Turin can witness it. Reprimanded twice, actually, for resisting. We just got off the ship. We're under the command of the First Order at the moment, and they gave us instructions. I said, you don't tell me what to do. And uh, I got reprimanded for that. So right now, we are on thin ice. The entire Bingham family is on thin ice right now. I'm not entirely sure how we're going to make it out of it. However, we are banking on Flynn to come and help us out. Yes, dear. And if we're not on thin ice, they all think that their dad's embarrassing. Nope. You don't tell me what to do. Kid me? Are you going to listen to what they say? No. I'll listen to what they say. Yeah. Kid me, we're prisoners of war here. Ash, you going to listen to what they say? Sure. Yeah. You look at Darth right in the face. You say take a hike, you chump. Going down, chump. Ava, are you going to listen? No. Say no. 
There he is right there. The evil one right there. A bunch of evil ones. There's a new evil one. Oh, oh boy. Ash, get in the line. Don't, hey, you better obey. Hello, sir. Nope. He's not having it. He's not having it. We're all prisoners of war here, people. Go. Hey, don't tell us what to do. Yes, I do. You too, Stan. <laughs> so I was just mocked for my intelligence. I repeat, I was just mocked for my They said they could tell where the brains of this family comes from, and they were not referring to me. I'm trying to think, but nothing happens. Hey, don't fight in line. I just want to be part of the first order, kids. Oh, oh. Hey, 50 bucks we Let's get away. Go. 50 bucks With we get me. away. <laughs> Thank you for your service. Yeah, absolutely. Hey, thank you for your service. Of course. We're busting out of here, folks. We're busting out. Did it work? Good. Now get a move on. Eat my dust, First Order. Next stop, Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway, which is, I think, your favorite ride. That is Slinky Dog, right? Yes, yeah, but Slinky Dog a little more. A little more, okay, so this is our second favorite ride. The dance room, right? First position, Congo. We love that ride. Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. And we have the mini ears, which are perfect for it. All right, guys, so we're going on a rock and roller coaster. And this is what they have been waiting for. It's our favorite Here's ride. This rock and roller coaster, baby. Turn it. Yeah. How we feeling? Heart's racing a little bit. We got a little loopy loop here. Lindsay and Ava decided to stay behind. Okay, a little intense, we'll call it. Miss Ava's not feeling it just yet. Here we go. Woo! Lando, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Are you ready? Yes. <laughs> Best big brother right here. Would you agree, Ava? The world's best big brother right here. We're starting to see a new MVP, Turbo Bingham. Ava, where are we headed next, girl? Slinky Dog. Slinky Dog, yes, right. Hey guys, quick little update here. I got reprimanded yet again on another ride for having my cell phone out. Probably saw Stop that. Stop the whole ride. Stop the whole ride, actually. My bad, my bad. Dang it. The first reprimand was a joke. The first order got mad at me because I was talking back to them. We were the part of the resistance, so I felt like I had to resist. The second one was legitimate. I should have had my phone out, but I did. All right, you guys, go on over and check out my Instagram. I'm sharing lots over there as well. And I'm gonna create a highlight bubble for our entire Disney trip so that you can go and plan all your Disney adventures for your family as well. All right guys, twin moment right here. Sweet Ashy, in fact, wow, as I said that, I just got teary a little bit. Pushing his sweet brother. Landon does not need a wheelchair. He wanted everybody to understand that he doesn't use a wheelchair because he can't walk. He uses a wheelchair in certain situations like this one where we are walking miles and miles a day and that becomes a bit more exhausting for someone with cerebral palsy than it would for someone else. So we get him a wheelchair that he has the option to use or not use. He can get out of it when he wants to and he can use it when he needs it. I 
now to... Awesome! <laughs> So guys, a little Holland moment for you here. We're having an absolute blast here. It's part of the Disney Creators event. An absolute blast. It's been a magical experience. However, real life doesn't wait for anything, right? Things happen when they happen. Sweet little Landon is having some micro seizures today. He's in his wheelchair and he, he just keeps having these little intermittent kind of micro seizures. This last one, you know, was not terrible. He was fine, obviously, but we just feel like he just needs to get out of the sun. He needs to relax a little bit. And Sweet Turn actually has been pushing him in the wheelchair, covering Landon with his body to shade him from the sun. But just his parents, we just feel like it's, hey, he just needs to go rest somewhere quietly. So he, Lindsay, and Ava want to go see the Beauty and the Beast show. So we're air conditioned. So we've kind of broken away a little bit from the group here. And Turin, Ashton, Hi. and myself are gonna go do a little bit for the next 45 minutes or so and then go check on them. But again, life happens, it's okay. There's moments that are seemingly frustrating for sure, but mainly frustrating for Sweet Land though. It's, it's less about everyone else and it's more like for him, I think everyone's really feeling that kind of weight of knowing that he has to sacrifice a little bit right now. In fact, Turn's like, no, we're not gonna go anywhere. And so we're you know, grateful to have such sweet, wonderful kids and amazing brothers and a sister <laughs> to Sweet Landon who, again, he, he can't control these. Regardless, he's having a magical experience anyway. But with that, I give you guys a little update and just let you know that he's doing totally fine. He's just chilling now. The hope is that we can avoid any catastrophic seizures that want us to the hospital here in a foreign state that we've never visit a hospital before. Not to mention we're going to the Dominican Republic here towards the end of the trip and again just don't want anything to jeopardize that for him personally and so the best thing he needs to do now is just kind of rest. So we have dinner reservations that were set up for us down in Disney Springs so he's gonna rest for the next little bit in an air-conditioned place for, uh, watching a show Why we go maybe hit Rock and Roller Coaster one more time. Yeah? Let's do this one for Lando. All right, Mr. Lando, give us a little update, man. How are you feeling? I'm feeling better, but my head does hurt still a little bit. So we're gonna go take it easy now. We're headed over to Disney Springs where we have reservation at Splitsville, yeah. which is this cool restaurant that it's also is a bowling alley. Yeah, it's really cool. But we're heading over there right now. We're gonna have a little bit of dinner. We actually met some of these awesome people that are part of the Disney Creator event as well. They happen to be, one of them happens to be from Italy, which is pretty cool, as you guys know. I love me the Italians. Hey, Giuseppe, hello. So we're gonna head over there with them actually at the because moment. Because he went on his mission on Italy. That's right. But we thought you'd give you a quick little update first that little Lando's doing fine. He's walking now just fine. And we're gonna have an early dinner and then an early bedtime. That's the because plan. We're gonna be up at 5:30 a.m. Yep, we are up early tomorrow morning, so we figured let's get a good night's rest. Just to rest our little bodies so we can which go is, which tomorrow. Is, which is 3.30 a.m. Utah time. Oh boy. Yeah, when you put it that way, that's early, man. Okay, you ready to eat? Yeah. We made it from Hollywood Studios to Disney Springs. We are here to check this place out. We have never seen Disney Springs during the day and it's beautiful. There's restaurants and shops everywhere. There's live music playing. So we are gonna go get some dinner. We're gonna do some shopping and we're just gonna walk around and enjoy this place. Alright guys, we're doing a little shopping here. Woo! And I think the boys and the girls may have found some shoes that we love. What do you think, Ava? Yeah. Yeah? Twins, what do you think? Should we match? Yeah. Yeah? Ash? <laughs> no from Ashton. Look, I've got the red ones. Oh, mom's got the red ones. Turn, what are you thinking, dude? Are you with me or are you without me? Without you. Okay. <laughs> Guys, come on, these are sick. Well, we couldn't convince the kids, but we could convince ourselves. Well, it was kind of tough too because we were thinking about how our feet are not growing anymore, but their feet are still growing. So we were kind of worried it would be a little bit of a useless purchase. They well, wear them once and outgrow them. Maybe they're not gonna wear these shoes every single day to school. It's more of a Disney, <laughs> they wear them to Disneyland, Disney World, anything Disney related. So anyway, well, we continue to look for souvenirs for the kids. Let's yeah, leave it at that. Found some cute mini ears for Eva and I. Ava found some few accessories for her new emos. She loves her new emos. She wants to take them everywhere. So she's really excited about that. So we just have to find something for the boys now.
guys, we've checked back into the beautiful Animal Kingdom Lodge over here. It is currently 11 p.m. Kids are sound asleep. Landon, so far, so good. He's been probably asleep for maybe 30 minutes. Yeah, Landon? Yeah. So generally, if there's a seizure to be had, it happens within 30 to 45 minutes. So we are praying over here that nothing happens. He got in bed at a pretty good time. Guys, the Disney cruise was everything we expected it to be. It was it was unbelievable. It was magical. The kids loved every aspect of it. There we wasn't, loved every bit of it. We really did. There wasn't really a dull moment at all. Even though we missed a day going to Castaway Cay, it didn't matter. Mm -hmm. it, the kids had tons of fun. We met amazing people on the boat. The kids made immediate friends. The food was delicious. Truly, the food was amazing. And sometimes cruise food can kind of be meh. The food was great. It really was. And I felt like it was the best of both worlds because we got a lot of really great family time. We'd go to the shows together. We'd go to dinner together. And they also got their friend time after dinner. They'd go to their kids' clubs or go to their older kids' clubs. Everything was just a second away, right? So we're like, I'm out of the show. We go to dinner. They run up to their kids' club. And then we run to a movie. Then we run to a dance party. It was all so convenient. There was so much to do. And we never ran out of things to do. It was just a blast. It really was. The water slides, the amenities, the pools, the kids' clubs the entertainment, everything. It was awesome. And we got off bright and early this morning, ran over to Hollywood Studios and had an amazing time there. One of our favorite parks. One of the only parks we've actually done here at Walt Disney World, but tons of fun. Even though, again, it was slightly interrupted with you know Landon having a couple episodes there. The kids rallied behind him. We sat out for about an hour or so, which just took a little bit of a rest. The kids are always so sweet when it happens to them. They are always way more concerned about him than they are about missing anything in the oh, parks. Totally. And yeah. they're just awesome to him. They're so, so sweet, sweet that way. And then we finished off the night in beautiful Disney Springs, which is such a fun part. No one in the family has been to. Such a gorgeous area. Well, none of the kids have been there, but you and I guess you yes. and I have been there. But such a beautiful area. We bought some pretty cool stuff, as you guys saw. We got some matching shoes. You guys, mm -hmm. we got some really cool shoes. We are either going to be the coolest parents tomorrow in Magic There's Kingdom. There's no or. We will be the coolest or parents. Or we're going to be the dorkiest parents in Magic Kingdom. Both are cool. You'll have to wait and see. I'm the cool dad. That's, that's my thing. All right, guys, we're going to go to bed. Be sure to subscribe down below. Again, if you are not following this girl right now on Instagram, go check her out right now. So it's Lindsay Bingham. It's Our Life in Holland. Lots of live stories going up there. We actually missed a few days last week posting just because the internet was a little bit spotty on the cruise ship, but we are back posting again. Lots of amazing jam-packed, action-packed videos to come. We're going to post more than our usual amount of videos to get caught up. So be watching for our videos every single day. Tomorrow's the first for us. Two parks in one day. We've never done that before. Magic Kingdom, Animal Kingdom coming your way. Come back tomorrow. Good night, everybody. See ya. guys good morning good morning and welcome back to our channel you guys you are in for a treat we are in for a treat this morning we got up early this morning and we get to open the park we've never done this before they're actually letting us in a little bit early about an hour or so early to catch some cool content with the park being empty get some pictures in front of the castle things like that but they've actually divided us into groups we get to ride some attractions before they even open we're gonna do thunder mountain so guys magic kingdom is very similar to disneyland in california pretty similar right so thunder mountain and this thunder mountain i think have some differences, I believe. A little bit, yeah. 
But we get to ride Thunder Mountain today, early this morning, before it's even open to the general public. So that's very exciting. Lindsay and the kids have broken off into another social group for a minute right now. They've got some of the other creators capturing some cool content, some pictures. So be sure to head over to Lindsay's Instagram. Amazing videos and stories and posts are being posted right now. So guys, full day today in Magic Kingdom. Gonna be a party and then we're headed over to Animal Kingdom this afternoon doing a little park hopper, something we've never done before. So it'll be a first time we've ever been to Animal Kingdom as a family. So we're super excited for that. But first, let's get some of these roller coasters in before the park opens. child than she is now yelling I love Disney say I love Disney <laughs> she was a little scared back then she's less scared now This is a treat. Lindsay's with us. Lindsay's back there, believe it or not. Here we go. Woo! Are you alive, love? Oh my God. <laughs> All right, guys, whose legs are whose? <laughs> well, they can tell by the size of your shoe. You're cheating. That's true. Not by the size of my legs, though. Fair <laughs> enough. In a short amount of time this park has been open, we've done Thunder Mountain twice. We've done Space Mountain twice. We have a return DOS pass for Splash Mountain twice. We have a return pass for Buzz Lightyear twice. We have nine guest passes to do seven dwarves. I don't know how we're gonna fit this all in before we go to Animal Kingdom in the next like four hours. We're really excited to go to Animal Kingdom because like Justin told you guys, we've never been there before. It's gonna be a first for us today. We can't wait. We've heard it's amazing. However, you saw earlier in the video as we were at breakfast, some of the delicious treats they have here. Guys, we're, I mean, yeah. Lindsay and I like to eat healthy, we'll admit that. You know that about us. Everybody loves a good treat here and there. Oh, you're gonna have to put some sugar on that celery or get out, man. Look, guys, the treats they have here, we're gonna have to dive in. And one of them looks very similar to Duck Donuts milkshake where they put a donut on top. Yay! Donuts! 
So we're headed down to Columbia Harbor House for some much needed treats. And maybe some lunch. We always get the lobster roll when oh, we come. Lobsters are so good. They're actually quite good here. They are quite good here. It is one of my favorite parts about this trip. And it's no surprise, our kids are so social. It's how many friends they've made. Kids and of course adults too. Everywhere you go, Ashton and Landon are just, you know, <laughs> chatting it up, making new friends. I decided I need to make a reel of the thousands of times I catch them just, hey, what's your name? <laughs> Love it. Tired? Let's go, girl. Catch up to your friend. Honestly, this orthodontist give me a break, dude. However, that's not a grin. He's not permanently gritting. His wires just flat out came off. Guys, this is arguably one of our most favorite rides. Agreed? Yeah. Yes. You know, in California, we just get on, get off, we get on, we get off. They don't actually tend to really stop us very much. A little more crowded today. It's a hot one, so Splash Mountain feels good today. But thanks to the MVP over here, yeah. we can just zoom right up with a little bit of waiting time up to the front with the whole crew. We have moseyed on over to Animal Kingdom, a park we have never been to actually never I've before never before as we walk in turns like I've never been here before well, the truth is we've had limited time oh my gosh there's freaking Everest we've been given a couple suggestions on where to go first so tonight actually the Disney creator event is actually giving us a private tour of the world of Avatar so we'll be able to ride Pandora I think as many times as we want we're not gonna do Pandora just yet I'm told that's one of the best here what we're actually gonna do is come over to Dino Land that's where we are now and run the dinosaur and then I think there's one other river raft ride that we're told to ride so we're gonna go experience that for the next we need to bit. get wet because it's hot. It's a little bit cookie today. Guys, you know what I love most about Disney World in general? Is that many of us don't get to travel the world, right? I mean, it, it's not often I'm going to go to Africa. I've never been, actually. When you walk into these places, it's like you literally are transported to a different world. I mean, really, though, some of this stuff looks, I mean, I'm sure it mimics very iconic places around the world that some of us will never actually go see. I love being able to walk in and experience what it might be like in that moment to be there. And that's one of the beauties and great things, I think, about Disney world in general is they transport you to really another place in time. Are you so ready? First time, here we go. Boys, my boys, you ready? Yeah. Yeah. Lando, now just so you know, there's only a few places dinosaurs exist still on Earth. This is one of them. But it's okay, they're on leashes, all right? We're safe. So, dinosaur, amazing. Very similar, I think, to Indiana Jones. Right at the end, the T-Rex comes out and gets you. Ava, what'd you think of dinosaur? Three, three and a half. Three and a half stars out of five? Mine's and four and a half. Four and a half? I'd say four. Four, Ash? Three and a half. Three and a half. I give it a 4.5. I liked it. Here we're heading over to a rapid ride. We're told it was really, really amazing. However, we are in Nepal right now, everyone. We are in Nepal near Mount Everest, a place I've always wanted to go. Certainly to base camp. One day it is on my bucket list. However, for now, this will do.
Okay, so as we were standing in line, we got some tips. Somebody who's been here quite a bit. I said, what are the main things to do? He mentioned the one we were on, which was the Kala Kalani Rapids, right? Mm -hmm. And then he had suggested the Banshee, which we're gonna do later tonight in that private event. And he suggested the tour, the Kilimanjaro Safari Tour. So folks, that's where we're at now. And then we're gonna go back and do the Rapids again because it's that epic. But then we should head over to Avatar World because I'm told that in addition to Banshee, there's also another one, which is a forest in Avatar, I what it's called. But it looks pretty cool. Guys, we were just back there looking at the otters. Ava was dying. We're so excited for the safari to see all the animals. Such a cool, unique park that it has all of the wildlife and amusement rides. So unique. I love it. Are you like so excited to see all these animals? Okay. Which ones are you hoping to see the most of? Elephants, zebras, and oh, the ones with the long yeah, giraffes. giraffes. And monkeys. Which one's your favorite? Giraffes. Giraffes are your favorite? And what's your second favorite? Elephants. You know what my favorite is? Koala bears. Koala Always has been. Ter, what are you hoping to see? Some ladies? Or sloth. Daddy, look how many animals they are. On this tour? some bongos and beta antelope species. These are bongos look, nearby look. the chuck. Kind of a copper red antelope with white stripes. Really thick horns. Look at the one up here. And the look great coon is that light tan gray antelope. Look at this one right here. here. Look in front of you. Look, look, at, look at you. Seven feet up there. She's about five, five and a half feet tall. One of the tallest look of the antelope species. And the balance system. What up, Lando? Hello. You see the animals? going to get some yeah. feed. 15 pounds. It's about 1% of the animal's body weight, so very lightweight for them to carry those. And they'll use these for defense and courtship. But shape and size may entirely depend on whether the preference of the individual. All right, what do we think of the safari? Fine. Fine. Are we getting tired a little bit? Just a little bit, you know? If you go do the Kali River Rapids, yeah. Ash, what do you think? River Rapids one more time, Turbo. Mom, you wanna do the Rapids? Lens, one to, uh, on a scale from one to 10, I'll it's probably two. like a three. Not too bad. No, I yeah. think too. All right, then I'm in. Okay, Lana, you wanna do Rapids again? Yes. All right, gonna make Rapids it is, baby. <laughs> this is your step, isn't it? I was just told that I was lied to. Slightly misled, we'll say. Apparently you get soaking wet on this ride. You don't get soaking wet. You get lightly drizzled. Fun in the heat of the day. Oh shoot, here it comes. Sun's going down. All right, guys, it is dinner time here in beautiful Animal Kingdom, and tonight, a Disney Creator event is hosted by TikTok, where we're gonna hang out. As you guys know, we don't really have much of a TikTok. We do have We've a done TikTok. A dances. In fact, it's one of the very few times you actually might see me dance. It's true. But tonight's dinner is hosted by TikTok, so we're gonna hang out here with the rest of the entire Creator group, have some African food, we're told, and just kind of uh, enjoy the evening before they reopen Avatar World, and we go experience some of the best rides, we're told, in all of Animal Kingdom. We've never been on Pandora before. I cannot wait for that ride. Her handshake, where she did two cartwheels, that was very impressed. That was really cool. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry, I'm wet. <laughs> it's okay. I'll give you a hug. Okay, give us a TikTok to do. What do we do? Oh gosh, okay. No, give, give us like a TikTok dance. What do we do? A TikTok dance? Yeah, give us something. Hold on. Alright you guys, we are officially now in Pandora land. We have never ever once been here before. 
This is incredible in here. We've never been on any of these rides, but just Avatar being World. in Pandora and Avatar World, unbelievable. So we've been told Banshee is the best. So, well, that's what we're about to experience. So tonight, it's just the creators group in here to experience the beauties of Avatar. I have to be honest, hands down, one of the best movies ever created. Curious if they're gonna do a 2.0. If they do, I really hope they don't botch it because 1.0 was absolutely incredible. But we're about to go experience what is arguably the most popular ride in all of Animal Kingdom right now here in the dark, which makes it even better. So where were you go up in the air and you smell stuff? Kind of. I think very similar but maybe a little bit different. Where's You're talking that? about soaring over the world. Yes. Which is one of our favorites. Which could be similar. I don't know. I've never done it. You ready? Yes. Lando, you ready? Yeah. Ash Bash, you ready? There we go. An amazing Navi ride of passage. Flying on the back <laughs> of the car, we'll call it Ikron. Siva Ko, rise to the challenge. Good luck. You guys, we just finished the Avatar Flight of Passage and that is officially the coolest ride I have ever been on, ever. That was incredible. There's Soarin' Over the World, right? Yeah, and no, then this there's is the this. next level. We're talking next level, unbelievable. I honestly felt like I was flying. Like that was like a next level experience right there. Ava, what do you think? I liked it. You liked it? <laughs> it's like the stomach drops are almost like exhilarating because you're just, you're, you feel like you're flying through the most beautiful places ever. I don't know, I'm speechless. My friend was telling me how she came to this ride during the grand opening and she waited three hours to ride on that. That would be worth waiting three hours for, but we were so lucky tonight to get to come and ride the ride as many times as we wanted because no one's in the park right now. And honestly, just being in here at nighttime is so cool. Seven to eight, uh, to nine to one ten. One moment, please. We're counting the hours. To one to two, to three to four to five, to six to seven to eight to nine to ten to eleven. Oh my gosh. Six to six is twelve. Sixteen. We were in the park for sixteen hours. As we are called what you call power people. Holy cow. Well, that was the most incredible Disney date ever. It really was. Huge. Actual fun. Thank you to Disney for the most incredible week. We have just had the most incredible time. The cruise, all the days in the park, we have packed it in and it has been unforgettable. We've got one more day tomorrow at Epcot Center. I think that's our only day here at Epcot, right? All days is yes. Epcot. Yes. Today we opened the park and closed the park, which means we got some time in the parks at the beginning and at the end where there was nobody else in the park with us. Tomorrow, I believe we're doing the exact same thing. We are up on the buses by 6.30, Early. opening the park again. And then tomorrow night, I believe we are closing down the park again. Right. So one more huge full day, day. in Epcot. Got Guys, you're amazing. Hope you're enjoying the videos. See you tomorrow morning. Disney World. Well, to be exact, Epcot Center, Epcot. everybody. Epcot Center. We are up early today and opening the park in Epcot. We've actually been here for a little while, so you're seeing all of these people around here, but when we got to the park, we were the only ones here, and we started our day with the most incredible 
incredible French breakfast. We actually met a friend here from France, so we're not sure if it's the same as her breakfasts at home, but whatever it is, authentic or not, it was so good. Like we are incredibly full right now. We ate way too much. They had homemade macarons with lemon and whipped cream and they had crepes. They had all of your breakfast stuff, potatoes and eggs and croissants and marmalades. Well, all you're doing right now is making me hungry. It was amazing. Our entire family has never been to Epcot before. So we are really excited to experience Epcot today for the first time. We've heard really great things about it. I'm dying over how gorgeous it is. I had no idea. We walked in and I was like, wow. So as I understand it, they have countries all over the park that you can go visit. So we obviously started in France this morning and we're going to go visit many more of them. They have the Flower Garden Festival going on right now. All right, we are about to ride the very brand new Ratatouille ride. Now guys, this is a classic Disney movie. I thought... <gasps> what I love most about being in Disney is just all the classics they bring back. Avatar, now this one. So this is the first for us, but it is a brand new ride. We just went through the back entrance here and about to ride a little Ratatouille. This makes you want to dance when you're here. A little race around the kitchen, we're told, huh? Ben, are you ready? Yeah! Here we go! You guys, we split up into groups. Our kids are with other kids. They're just having a blast we right now. We have like 85 BFFs by now. It's kind of funny. I know, it's cute. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Des invités pour le dîner. Yes, but what you come here? Huh? Pour le repas idéal. Poussez-vous de là! All right, you want to tell us Ratatouille? Let's go ahead and debrief this real quick. It was quick. fun. It was amazing, right? I liked it. I mean, this this park is generally not known for its like high adventurous thrill rides. There's I would say. one that I that I was being told about called Test Track. That one. Which was we're gonna go on. However, Ratatouille being brand new, just opened up in October, is awesome. So cool. Very cute themed. You're running through the restaurant. You're the size of the mice. Fine. Technically, he's a rat. Sorry, you feel like you're the little rat. <laughs> Ratatouille. It's in the name. For you guys, it was super high tech. Kind of reminded me of like the same kind of animation as Pandora a little bit. Yeah, oh, totally. Uh, like it. What's amazing actually is the technology, like this smart electric vehicles they have that actually driving you around as part of the through ride. Very, very cool. Yeah, anyway. and it's not like they're in trucks. They like have like motions that they go in. It's just like a robot. Yeah. I love that ride. So, first ride of the park, check, and a success. Now headed over to do a little Frozen. I get the feeling, Linz, would you agree this park is gonna be get a little bit more towards cultural experiences, slightly more laid back, experience maybe Chilling. some of the, the new worlds of Disney. Maybe a little more chill. I, Definitely. Yes, but I will say, so far, I'm in love. I love Epcot. I need to know how excited you are. Elsa wanted to give us all some fun. She's making everyone a snowy summer day. Oh, you're going to Elsa's ice palace. Frozen Ever After ride. What did you girls think? It was so fun. It was so good. Amazing. And we went on a job with backwards. It was so fun. Yeah. Did you get wet? Yes. Kind of the question is, did you get wet? <laughs> Soaking wet. <laughs> really though, you guys, Frozen was incredible. Such beautiful singing. They played all the songs. We went through all the scenes of the movie. We went forward, we went backwards. What'd you think of Frozen? It was cool. You guys, so far so good. We've done Ratatouille and we've done Frozen and I have Loved both. These rides are very new. Like you can tell they're new, they're new technology. So well done. Question is which one of you was Elsa and which one of you was Anna? Oh, you were uh Anna, no Elsa. You definitely were Sven. You've got the Sven vibe going on. Oh. 
Okay. What were you, Anna or Elsa? On the right. Anna. Anna. The braids. She was front row. She got to sit in the very front. Did you get wet in the front? Yeah. We're here at Test Track. Now guys, Test Track again, another ride we've never been on, of course, we've never been in this park. It goes 65 miles per hour. Heard it's a fun one. You design your own car. What else, guys? We don't even know. I'll be honest, that might be the fastest Lizzie's ever gone in her life. Yayo! All right, guys, we are about to ride. This is the Ortega family. Our kids are instant best friends, I feel like, already. Oh, here we go. Right, you guys just ran into Chad here. He just stopped us. We took a quick picture. Chad here has been to Disney World for accumulation of what three months now? Throughout the year. Throughout the year, he's been here over three months of days in the park. We are talking the Disney World expert right here. He says his favorite park is Magic Kingdom. Favorite ride is Haunted Mansion. So, Chad, my friend up top, thank you for hanging out with us. All right, guys, just checking in here. We've stopped over here in Mexico. As you guys may have seen, we've met some pretty cool YouTubers here. Yo Soy Alex, which you'll meet a little bit later, is a YouTuber from Mexico. We're gonna have to ask him if this food is up to par. It tasted like regular Hispanic food. <laughs> However, we've got other countries we need to visit. Some countries which we'll probably never travel to ever, so this is gonna have to suffice, Tur. So, like, you wanna go to, like, Norway and all those, like, Scandinavia. I don't think we have Scandinavia. No? No Scandinavia? Anyway. Regardless, we're gonna go stamp them passports yeah. as he's dancing behind the camera. <laughs> it turns like, okay. <laughs> All right, astronauts, you ready to take off? Yes. We've already got some uh, foreign creatures here. Creatures! Some foreign creatures in the house. You're here today. Oh, Change work with me. I know your father's feeling a little nervous. Mission space, here we come! Woo! Ava May, welcome to Bambi's Butterfly Garden, girl. Okay, so we just went to Bambi's Butterfly House, which I knew Ava would absolutely love. In fact, we had to drag her out of there. Ava, you got lost in there. I did. So I actually put a little bit of Powerade on a couple flowers, trying to bait these butterflies so pretty. into landing and to no avail. So needless to say, I don't think I'm gonna make a career in butterfly hunting, but <laughs> absolutely beautiful. You guys, we have really had a blast in this park. Day's not over. We've done a lot already in a very short amount of time. However, we had to stop by our very favorite, well, when I say ours, I've said that a lot, but <laughs> it is Lindsay's and I's favorite ride. Of all time, I don't know, but it's one of our favorite rides. In California Adventure, you do Soarin' Over the World. They have one here at the Epcot Center where it's a little different. It's a little different. You actually soar over the world, but you also soar over the four parks here. We have to experience that before we go anywhere else.
are taking a little bit of a breather here. We spent 16 hours yesterday. We opened the park, we closed the park. Today, we opened Epcot Center and we're gonna close Epcot Center. So we're taking a little bit of a breather here. We're just in this playground area. Epcot Center's got these beautiful flowers. Everything's very clean. It's honestly just a very chill park, which we've absolutely loved. Turn and Lindsay have gone off to take some Instagram photos, some Instagram pictures and videos, etc. So again, if you're not following her, go check her out. We've met some amazing people as well. So go check out her Instagram. She's collaborating with some really cool creators here that are part of the Disney Creator event. So go check her out, Our Life in Holland, Lindsay Bingham. So we've got some plans this evening. However, we got about four hour gap right now to fill. So we're gonna relax here a little bit. We may park hop. We're not really big park hoppers, but because it's Disney World's 50th year anniversary, we might do something a little bit special. And that is go back over to Magic Kingdom and recreate a picture that Lindsay's mom took 50 years ago on the grand opening day of Disney World, which is pretty cool. Walking around Epcot today, the Flower and Garden Festival. We're hopping from place to place, checking out all of the treats. I've got a sweet corn cake here. What do you have? I got the beef with mashed potatoes and carrots. This is a mascarpone cheesecake. We are trying all of these fun, unique things. They're so good. We've got drinks, we've got treats, we've got desserts, we've got snacks, we've got it all. Turn and I are on a special mission right now. We have come from Epcot, we've taken a bus over here to Magic Kingdom. Justin kind of explained this to you, but I'm sitting in Epcot today. All right, you guys, we, we actually just ran into a parade, so that was a fun little surprise. So, I'm sitting in Epcot today, and my mom sends these pictures, and she said, two of my daughters have been to the 50th anniversary of Walt Disney World this year, and here are some pictures of me at the grand opening of Walt Disney World 50 years ago. She was a teenager, she was probably 15 if I'm doing my math right. It opened October of 1971, so I'm on a little mission right now, she has no idea I'm doing this. Turn and I jumped on a bus over here to Magic Kingdom so that I could recreate the shot, a picture of her 50 years ago. And what's kind of fun about the pictures is the first thing Justin said when he looked at it was, that's your mom, that's you. Which is really fun that he can see me and my mom. I'm gonna send my mom this little recreation, but I have to give a little shout out to Turin because I didn't want to inconvenience anybody with this and I took off to Magic Kingdom by myself and he wouldn't let me go alone. <laughs> He came running up and said, Mom, you're not going alone, which was a huge sacrifice because he's really tired today. <laughs> he just wanted a little break. So thanks to Turn, we're getting this shot today.
just got here, so I need to catch up. You guys, this guy up. right here travels the world. I live vicariously through him. Yeah. All right, you guys, so if you are not following this guy on YouTube, on Instagram, you have to check him out. He is traveling the entire world. This guy, I don't know if there's one country you haven't been to yet. Well, today I missed uh, Canada because I was, I was <laughs> like so in a hurry to come here and see the show. But today I, I did like two trips around the world here in Epcot. If you want to travel the world within one day, this is the place to do it here in Epcot. But also, like, just uh, speaking seriously, in my channel I, I do travel vlogs and also documentaries about places like I've been in North Korea, Afghanistan when the and war was. You were just in Kiev. I was just in Kiev when the when the war started. In like, I, I don't know why, why I'm smiling about this story, but it's uh it's part of my my content. I do uh, travel videos where I give people advice yeah. to places to go and some tips to travel, but also documentaries explaining the history or the social situations that are going on. Like right now, the the war in totally. Ukraine. So totally. I was there when the war started. Oh, yeah. It's kind of a uh, hard those moments to regard, but but after that I came to Disney World to also. So give people some advice on how to spend though. vacations here. Unbelievable. Guys, if you're looking for tips to travel, where to go, or just looking for some quality travel content, go check him out. What's the channel? Well, the channel, you can okay. find me in YouTube. That's my main platform, as Alex Tienda. Okay. But that's the, the, the channel in Spanish. My last name is Tienda, which means store in Spanish. So if you want to see the content in English, I also it's have Alex the English Store. channel, Alex Store. Alex Store. Yeah. There you go. Guys, check him out. YouTube, Instagram. We absolutely love getting to know him. He actually shot a couple of Lindsay's reels on Instagram. For I hope him. it's not that shaky for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> it's easy, but I, it was I, awesome. I, I, I hope it worked for the video. Dude, absolutely and thank great. Thank you so much for the shout yeah. Thanks so much for people watching the video. You guys, we are in the Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind. This is an exclusive sneak peek of the ride here in Epcot Center coming soon. So it opens this summer, 2022. Now, guys, we were some of the first people to actually come and see this incredible new thrill ride in the Epcot Center. Oh, hey, Landon, who are your new friends, man? <laughs> You guys, our amazing Disney experience has come to an end and I cannot express how grateful we were to be able to work with Disney, the amazing creators, the Disney staff, and visit and experience all of these themes, theme parks. It was absolutely incredible. Huge, huge thank you to Disney for hosting us. This was an absolute dream. We had made incredible memories as a family. And like Justin said, we made so many new friends. That was an unexpected part of the trip that was so fun. And we didn't have time to close last night. We had to put the kids in bed because we had an early morning this morning. We were packing until super late. But like, as we said goodbye to people, some people were like tearing up, tearing up because the likelihood of seeing these people again is rare. That's all. Yeah, and, so, and the kids made really good friends. Some of the little girls last night were crying because they just are so sad that we have to say goodbye. We all, none of us really live by each other. So. so last night, the harmonious light and firework show at Epcot Center was hands down the best Disney firework show of all time. Thanks Disney, we had the absolute best time. Thanks Disney, it was a party. I loved it, it was so fun. Thank you Disney. I love meeting all these new friends. Thanks Disney.